What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Democracy Skyblock. I am over here by my fishing pond because there's a man in my house. Look, look, he's trying to escape. Who the fuck is that? He's using my brewing stand, but not correctly. Well, thanks for the nitwit, guys. Uh, you know, I, I, th I think he'll make a nice pet. You'll just keep him in there. And uh, it does actually mean I only have to successfully cure one of these zombie villagers over here, which is pretty nice. I still have a, a, a witch and two zombie villagers in here. I think the witch is in this tall one. <laughs> yeah. Also, I see a zombie villager farmer in there. His hat is sticking out. <laughs> I'm going to need another sword to finish off all of these. So, since we kind of have a, a guy who wants to live in a village, I think that it would be a good idea to basically turn the volume down on these guys. It would be a good idea, I think, to build a place for them to live. So we should probably make some kind of villager platform. Just a, a villager-shaped home. So, oh goodness. Nothing more annoying than having your sword break when you're at the grinder. Also, it seems like the arrows just kind of hit random enemies. Not necessarily the one that we're actually looking at. Stop jumping, thank you. Okay, check it out, we got a gold helmet. So, as was pointed out in the comments, thank you Crossbow, I can actually drown those guys and make the zombies start dropping, um, what's it called? Copper instead of iron if we want. But I also, I kind of like having the regular ones because they have the gold armor on. Uh, 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 oh God. All right, well, hey, you better not get yourself into any trouble. What, what could he, okay, he could probably, nope, you're not allowed over there. Um, I need some blocks. <laughs> hey, you know what, you're, uh, you're not allowed over there either. Where did he go? Uh, you know what, you're not allowed by the <laughs> cobble grinder either. You just chill, okay? We're gonna make a nice house for you. And by nice house, I mean open platform with beds under the open sky because I just built a beautiful testificate economic facility in my haunt world, and I don't feel like doing the same build again. Oh, all these friggin' bows. I need to make a garbage can that's just a hole in the ground. <laughs> I can throw away all these bows that I don't need. But hey, you know. Let's see where we're at on our, our iron collection. Oh, we got 13 nuggets. We're actually not that far off. And I don't know if there's a way for us to get a brown mushroom now. So the brewing stand right now is just making hot water bottles. All right, let's cook up the, I got any coal? I got charcoal. Let's cook up the gold armor and I'll talk about my plan. So I think I'm gonna take a day it's already it's day 40 now just checking in and i'm going to just cut down and replant all my trees grind some cobblestone at the cobblestone generator and just kind of refill my my resources for the time because we're we're kind of a ways off from being able to actually cure a zombie villager because we need eight ingots to make the golden apple and for that that would be 64 nuggets. And it looks like after this, we're gonna have five, seven, 20. So we're about a third of the way towards curing one villager. So I'm actually pretty happy to have gotten a nitwit because that actually means we only have to cure one instead of two, which uh, may make all the difference in the end. All right, we'll just let that run. 
Good lord, I thought he was a zombie <laughs> walking around the corner. Uh, so yeah, right now we've got... Oh, you know, we've got enough to make a second iron ingot. That's probably worth going ahead and smelting. So, 20 nuggets. We need 64. I'll just leave them as nuggets so it's easier to keep track. But it looks like we're at just enough iron armor dropped to finally make a an ingot out of our iron nuggets, which is nice. Been collecting these the entire time. It looks like the armor drops are just that much slower. Oh, I need nine! Oh, no, I'm an idiot. Okay, so for the... Crap, that means it's not 64. It's... Um... It's not 8 times 8, it's 9 times 8. It's 72. Oh, gosh. So we're not even a third of the way there. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, well... You know, it's a long... It's, it'll be a long journey, but we'll get there. The good news is, we have rotten flesh. So if we can get a villager to become a, a uh, cleric, we can sell them rotten flesh and start an economy. Um... And I guess also we could sell sticks, but do we have flint? We don't have gravel, do we? They drop arrows, but they don't drop flint. So we can't make a fletching table and sell sticks. And I don't think selling iron is going to be effective. Although, villagers are also a key to infinite iron. So, all right. I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to probably just put some swords in my inventory and go back and forth between cutting down trees and the like, and mining cobblestone at the generator, and killing the mobs at the mob farm to continue getting uh, ourselves more loot. All right, folks, we're back. Just gonna check in here. I, uh, oh, my sword is totally smashed. Let me make a couple more. I make these things like four at a time now because I go through them so quickly at the mob grinder. I'll just take them and stack them up in my inventory like I have with all these other stone tools. I've not yet had cause to make a stone shovel though, so none of those. As you can see through all the time lapses, I've been busy. Let's clear this out real quick. That's better. Now I can hear myself think again. 
the uh, the amount of stuff that these guys drop has gone up because the local difficulty has started to increase, which is really nice. The uh, armor pieces, at least, have increased. So I've uh, got two new farms over here. This one for killing spiders because I realized I'm going to need to make beds for my villagers if I want them to uh, join my village. And the only way I can get wool in this world, since I've not yet gotten any animal spawns in my backyard, my only way to get wool is from spider silk. So I have this farm that allows me to just easily grow, grow, easily harvest wild spawning spiders. Now the interesting thing about this is that it, it looks dead simple and it absolutely is. You just need a space that's one and a half blocks tall and flat. And the only thing that will spawn in there is spiders. Everything else is too tall, even creepers. And then this mob farm up here makes witches, skeletons, creepers, and zombies. So the only other overworld mob commonly spawning is Endermen. And that's what this last section over here is for. This farm is literally just a platform that's kind of far away. It might still be a little too close because Zombies can see you from surprisingly far away. I guess not uh, that far, but the point is If I stand here underneath this roof, Endermen can't get to me and the boats seated out here just Capture them when they come near. How do I get them close? Well, I make I make offensive eye contact and they come over to try and fight me And uh, the interesting thing I'm noticing from all of this is this farm is very effective at spawning mobs. The mob cap gets full. I've, I've noticed that if I let this farm fill up during the day, then when night falls, this platform will be empty. There's no room left in the mob cap for anything else to spawn. So whenever I want to see new spawns on these platforms for the spiders or the endermen, I have to first come over here and clear this farm. Okay, let's go back over here. And I'll show you an update on my uh, resource collecting. We're up to seven iron ingots and then a buff enough nuggets here, I believe, to make another one. So really more like eight, which is pretty nice. Which means we've now reached the point where we can start thinking about what our next iron item should be. And I honestly do not know. There's... The other stuff we can make out of iron is not super useful to me right now. Like, an anvil would be just way too expensive. We already have a cauldron and a bucket. So the utility ones are for gathering and moving liquids are there. I guess we could make... We could use it to make, like, trading tables. Like, a smithing table requires iron. A blast furnace requires iron. The good news with those is... We can use them both as a villager job block, and they still retain their function for the player, too. So I have only really need to make one blast furnace. Ugh, no Enderman yet. Unfortunately, they are about ten times rarer than skeletons, creepers, and zombies. I think the creepers are like an 80. The skeletons and zombies are like 100, and the Endermen are like 10 in terms of how often they show up. Don't ask me why it's all in multiples of 10, but there it is. I think, I think that they are less rare than witches. But, I don't know. I haven't got a whole lot of witches. See, how did he spot me from over here? Is it because I hit these zombies? I think it's because I hit these zombies. They send out, like, a, a zombie amber alert. <laughs> and all the other zombies nearby are like, oh shit! Somebody's killing a zombie! We have to go help! The boats make it a pretty much a non-issue though, so... Nothing to worry about there. Pick up all the loot. I'm curious now, let's check our stats. How many zombies have I killed now? Ooh, 1130! You've never been killed by a zombie, very nice. I think... You've never been killed by a chicken, that's good too. I think we were way above rate then for getting our iron drops because we had seven for the cauldron and now... Okay, well, we made one out of pieces already, didn't we? I don't recall. Maybe not. We had 14. 
Yeah, well, the expected number would be like 11, so I guess we're not that far off. Ugh, no Enderman. I'm waiting for Enderman to spawn and trying to farm up their pearls because if we can't get ever get villagers going, I'm not going to be able to trade for the pearls. I'll need to get them directly from the Enderman. And this is all in hopes that we might someday go to a stronghold and actually fight the Ender Dragon. It would be interesting. The end is basically a sky block in itself. <laughs> There's pretty much nothing there. But it would be a good source of blocks. And that brings me to the difference that is going to be uh, present in this episode. So well, let's hop over to a creative world. Oh, no, we're safe. Well, we were doing a replay file, I forgot. Um, I don't know. Let's go to... Yeah, just go to a creative mode here. Creative mode world. And I'll show you what's going to happen. So in previous episodes, up till now, y'all have been voting on what block or item or creature I'm going to get added to my world. And for this episode, to celebrate us approaching 50 days on the sky block... Well, why did I open F3? This world doesn't even have time movement. Anyway, we're getting towards 50. The end of this video will be 50 days on the sky block. And to celebrate... You guys are going to be voting on something a little different this week. Instead of mobs or entities, you're going to be voting for a structure. Now, what counts as a structure in Minecraft? Well, it's, it's things like villages, woodland mansions, ocean monuments, the stronghold, that kind of thing. And I think for this vote, we're going to limit it to... Uh, well, actually, let me see. I want to try here because I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to show you this because that's the way I'm going to do uh, the command here. So if I su can I summon, I don't know how to make a structure. My mistake. It's the place command, not the <laughs> not the summon command. Uh, let's see if we can we summon another thing in the overworld. Let's try and do like a piglin bastion. No, isn't that what they're called? No, it's Bastion Ruins. Bastion Remnant. And we'll just put it here. Whoa! Look at that. Okay, so I guess it does work. Wow, that's freaking huge. Holy cow. Will the Hoglin? Not Hoglins. Yep, they'll turn to zombies. That's what I thought. <laughs> Very nice. Um... Yeah, so any structure, anything that you see in this this list here, they're all they're all options, and I'll I'll put a link to the uh, structures Wikipedia page in the description, and uh, yeah, we can just summon in, you know, whatever we like. Some of them I think are going to try to fall, so I may have to stick some temporary blocks under them in order to get them to spawn in the right place. But there's like a a bastion. Let's try summoning a village from up here. Oh, yeah, it just summoned down there. Some of them are hard-coded to stick to the ground, so I may have to stick temporary blocks down to get some of them. But I'll, I'll make it work, whatever y'all end up voting for. And uh, I will say, if you vote uh, for the Stronghold, which is, of course, where the uh, the portal to the end is, we'll be able to actually beat the game. So that's an option. Of course, you could also just give me an igloo. I warn you, though, the igloo is probably better than you're thinking it is. And all of these structures have uh, interesting options between them. I would say none of them are useless, at least not from my cursory glance on the uh, the list that's out there. Oh god, that village is not doing well. Oh, they're getting they're getting absolutely hammered by zombies. The iron golem is doing his best. The villagers are hiding at the top of the tower. Oh, the iron golem is glitching out. He doesn't know what to do. Get him. Yeah. Got his ass. Very nice. So that's what the vote will be for in this episode. Some of them are definitely more useful than others. Some of them give us access to blocks, resources, and even mobs 
that we don't have right now. So consider your votes carefully. And don't forget that the best way to get your option to win is to leave a comment and thumbs up to people who said the same thing as you. <sighs> no Enderman all night. I might make the platform bigger. The only problem is for, for every mob that's spawning over there, it's a mob that's not spawning in here. Because before these farms were built, this thing was happily filling the mob cap like six or seven times a day. So at some point, once we get enough of, of, of these resources, namely string and ender pearls, or if we get a better source for them, or if we can just buy beds, uh, I'll take these down and let this farm go back to doing its job. What day is it rising on now? It's going to be day 47 today. So I've only got three days left in this uh, episode. I'm going to try and get more stuff done. Let me show you all how much gold we've got. Because I believe we need 72 nuggets. And we're up to 35. So we're almost halfway there. Uh, but like I said, the longer we stick around in this world, the higher the local difficulty is going to get. So right now it's... 3.6 over 0.8. I really have no idea what that means, to be honest with you, but it's supposed to be going up. This farm also does give us some incidental arrows and other drops from the zombies and skeletons. I guess while we're here, we can go ahead and check in on our nitwit as well. He's happy in his little uh, villager area. It's like a villager gazebo over here. I put a raised area in the center to stick, I don't know, up to eight beds on, I guess. And uh, he's just chilling. I mean, I would tell him to get a job, but he literally can't. Don't you, don't you rub your fat nose at me. You think, don't you, don't you, you think you're a bobblehead? What is this? Oh, I had to throw you in the void. You're only here for breeding purposes. <laughs> it sounds awful. <laughs> POV, your boyfriend doesn't really love you. <laughs> You're only here for breeding purposes. Nasty. All right, I'll get back to the grind and I'll update you in uh, three days uh, on how, how, how the gold hunt is coming because once we can get villagers cured, and I've never done it with trying to get the witch to throw the potion, this is going to be kind of interesting. But if we can do it, Oh, it's going to unlock a whole world for us. All right, folks. It is now the night of day 49. Tomorrow, it'll be day 50, and I'll get that structure that y'all voted for spawned into the world. A couple things I want to point out that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, one, whatever it is you spawn, I'm not going to live in it. Uh, whatever blocks I want from it, I'll have to collect and bring back here to the base. And I'm also going to spawn it like a thousand blocks that way. <laughs> so it's not going to be a giant eyesore where we have a giant bastion right next to the build. So it'll be kind of like a distant location that we can go visit and get things from, but not an immediate, uh, immediate neighbor. Just thought I'd clarify those. I've been fishing. You may have already seen, I'm sure, in the time lapse that I finally fished up a piece of bamboo, which is the whole reason that this is, world is in a jungle biome in the, in the void. So now we've got plenty of bamboo, which also means plenty of scaffolding, which I guess you can't place on half blocks, but there you have it. So satisfying. Let's check in on our gold count. I believe we're up past halfway. Yeah, we're up to 40. Very exciting. So we only need 32 more pieces of gold. And we can, or, you know, gold armor. And we can craft ourselves that golden apple. We've also got a fair bit of iron, too. So I don't really know what to make with all of that. I'm not sure what the next step in our progression should be as far as iron goes. But, you know, it's around. Been doing a lot of fishing. <laughs> I've eaten like 40 cod in this episode too. All right. Oh, I look forward to seeing your votes in the comments. Uh, 
I won't try and sway one way or the other, but uh, there are definitely some wrong answers. And you'll probably pick them. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next week. Well, or sooner, on the next episode of Democracy Skyblock.